For our next activity, we're going to do another jewelry piece, and we're going to do the simple heart ring. To get here, make sure that once you've signed into Tinkercad, you click Learn. On the Learn page, go to Lessons and click Show All Lessons. Once you're here, scroll down and find Simple Heart Ring and click on it. We're going to click where it says One Simple Heart Ring to Begin, and it's going to bring us into the instructions. Our directions are on the left, Work Plane in the center, and our tools and shapes on the right. Now for this one, they've already created the basic ring shape for you. We just need to add the heart to the top. So it says drag a heart shape to the work plane. I'm going to scroll down on my shapes until I find the heart. And I'm going to drag that onto my work plane. I'm going to click next. And you can see it wants me to put it inside the orange area here. I'm going to need to adjust the size to make it fit inside this outline. Now they don't give me a specific size for this, so I kind of have to eyeball it as I go along. I'm going to grab a corner and shrink it down a bit, and when I get close, I'm going to move it inside that outline, and I'm going to rotate around a bit until I can see, is it close to where I want it to be? I can then adjust it as I go along until it is close to being in that area. I can also use my arrow keys to help me move it a little bit. And I also want to remember to scale the height down so it's not sticking out. You can see the orange line here is about as high as it should be. So I'm going to adjust that down till it gets to that line. And I should now see that it fits inside. We want to make sure that the tip at the bottom of the heart is kind of overlapping the ring shape itself so that if we were to 3D print this, the pieces would stick together and not actually fall apart. I'm going to click Next, and it says select both shapes and group them into a single shape by clicking Group on the menu bar. So I'm going to drag a box over both. You can ignore this weird heart shape down here. Tinkercad's just being weird about it. And when I have both shapes selected, I'm going to come up here and click my Group button. That combines them into my ring, and it is finished. At this point, take your screenshot so that you have it and save it to your Google Drive. When you're finished, click Done, and go back to the project page. On the project page, click back to projects so you're back at our main set of directions.